Hello everyone. Continuing last night's video and checking more into these rash of earthquakes California had. Um, and about the storm that moved through Haiti and Dominican Republic on its way up to the Florida and the Southland area. We got a couple of other little areas that have spawned over last few days. I got this set for the last two days right now. In the Virgin Islands area, they're not real big, <clears throat> but they're getting the same type of a deal. And it looks, uh, you know, it looks like the El Salvador region, it's like what we saw in California. You can see we've got three spots here, here, and here. And for some reason, they're just all three. Not completely simultaneous, but these three regions are very active. Or it doesn't look like anywhere else on the globe is doing this kind of action. You can see the points of these faults of where it's going on at. You see a lot once you go west and get into the water area traveling to the other side of the world follow that line it's a lot calmer over there at least right now for the moment up there in green it looks like uh, looks like somewhere in Russia they just had a recent earthquake of 4.7 these magnitudes are relatively low most of them but we're gonna see out here in California what has been going on today? Let me check our chart. We see some fives in these areas here. But let's not forget, while Isaac is going on over here, Japan got got the typhoon. So they've got some power outages. They've got a whole lot of water and everything over there. While that typhoon's going on and while this hurricane's moving in and you're getting these three areas here at the same time, it's getting jackhammered by some earthquake action. Let's see as we go around for the time being now, once we get all the way over here on the other side of the world, it's relatively quiet. Even if, even if that is just for the last couple of days, that, that's a lot of land area there that there's nothing going on right now. So, when we come over here, And we want to look at our chart. And that was Siberia and Russia had that 4.7. We can see El Salvador with a 5.7 again. And here comes your Californias 2 half, 4 2, 4 1, Salvador 4 7, 3 9, and Alaska. <clears throat> And we're going to see a lot of Salvadorian action here. Four and a half there. There's the five in California. You get five again. Four and a half Salvador. Four six Japan. Honshu. California two and a half. Salvador four eight. Central America four eight. California three. Indonesia your five three. 
There's the Virgin Islands 37, California 3727, Virgin Islands 33, California 28, Virgin Islands 38, 25, California, Virgin Islands. Get it scrolled up here. 362828 28 and a 44. Southern Cal 27, Central 33, Southern 25, Central America 46. Salvador 45, 44 and 46. Virgin Islands 329 and 26. The India region. Oh, I didn't think I saw that one. 5.0. You got a little one in Nevada, 26. Salvador 47, Virgin Islands 33. 51 Nicaragua. 53 Indonesia. Southern Cal 26, Virgin Islands 31, 28. Salvador 46 and 45, Virgin Islands 28. Salvador 47. Southern California 2 and a half. Just uh, a lot of this little call it little when it's not a lot of this action going on here now 3-4 California 3 even Virgin Islands 2-9 Salvador 4-2 Virgins 3 2-8 2-7 2-9 Salvador 4-3 and a 4-4 California 3-2-9 Salvador 5-4 go for California 5-2 Okay, so we went over some of those. Let me see what the current situation is. So the sun itself there seems to be in a period of quietness right now. So it hasn't bashed us with a big CME or anything like that. No, that's really not a problem with any seismicity that's going on right now. It doesn't seem to be any type of contributing factor. Now, I checked into this. There's a different information, different places, but um, then the number will change is the one I've been finding. They say, even though this is looking like a Category 1 storm, the way it looks now, it still was Category 1 strong enough for, to kill 24 people. So 24 out of a whole lot seems small. But it's very large to the people that knew the people that that died. It's a very big thing to them. So let's pray for the people affected and the people that lost friends or family. Because remember Haiti, there's still a whole gob of them down there that's living in tents and stuff. <clears throat> they're cooking outside on fires, you know, like camping. Uh, Dominican Republic, well, they got they got some you know stuff knocked over by the wind, and the, they got rain and flood, and you know, they got damage. But uh, they're a little wee little more modernized, so to speak, than Haiti. Well, the architecture is a little, a little bit better in some spots in Dominican Republic and Haiti, so it was quite damaging to uh, to them. And if we read on through this, what this is leading to say is that Isaac uh, did leave death in his past path. Maybe it's going to hit Tuesday. 
late sometime. The predicted to grow to a category one. We're taking all kinds of precautions for this category one. You know, it's evidently going to bring uh, ooh, probably a hundred mile an hour winds uh, and a lot of water. So we hope we do. It doesn't look like a Katrina to me. I mean, uh, you know, Category 5 versus Category 1. But if it arrives whenever it's supposed to, I'd be one day shy seven years after the Katrina. FEMA said the updated levees around New Orleans are equipped to handle st bigger storms than this one. Some of the heaviest impact may be in Alabama and Mississippi. It was still a tropical storm with winds of 65. It could push floodwaters deep as 12 foot. In Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, 6 foot into the Panhandle of Florida, maybe. 78% of the oil production in the Gulf has been stopped. The precaution for this, about a million barrels a day are stopped. That's 17% of our oil production per day, 6% of our consumption. So, plan on your gas going up. Joy, joy, a. Eh? Even though it's moving well west of Tampa, Big time winds and rains were possible because of the large size of it. So flooding is a major concern here apparently. Well, some wind damage. So we're going to hope and we're going to pray that this does not develop into something severely damaging that will kind of be a, a really low grade storm is it maybe maybe somehow I can break apart in a lesson once it gets close enough to land or hits land but you all that live along that area down there you got a little better information than the rest of us hopefully so you do what you got to do to protect you yourselves and your families and your friends. If you can, your property, your belongings. Hopefully if it knocks out your power, you, you got a little stuff stocked up. It might need to last you for a little bit. And when we go over here, oh, right. I see, uh, we had some another current or article about the Syrian deal, all the fighting. You don't hear any any more except pretty much a daily report of the rebels did this or the military did this. But this suggests that they found some some bodies in a mass grave. Uh, this, I believe, they said it was also unconfirmed. You know, the, whatever happened to the victims is really what happened to the victims. But this has uh, been in several articles. Like I said before, we really don't know we're not over there in the, the true fight. He's not going to go, like I said. Assad, I mean. But it says they're finding bodies everywhere in Derea. What has happened is the most 
appalling in the revolution till now. 320 killed in Daria from five days ago. Largest single day death toll reported to date. So the killing is going to go on because both sides have an agenda no matter what. This is a little older of an article. I believe it's August 1st. But you got to remember what it says in it. <clears throat> well, Panetta stressed stressed it that if the sanctions don't work to compel Iran to end their nukes program the U.S. will have to consider military options to destroy it. Destroy what? Iran nuclear program. Repeated emphasis on pursuing other options. Well, you're either giving big talk or you're giving a little out. They concern that Israel could launch a unilateral strike. The Congress, remember what they did, a new bill, supposedly sanctioned bill. Banks, insurance, shippers that assist they, them in selling their oil. Okay, so they put a big squeeze on them, supposedly, which generally ends up hurting the people. toughest Iran has ever faced these recent economic sanctions. Now on their side of the field they're losing a lot of money. So they're not liking it. The most effective way to stop them from obtaining a nuclear weapon is for the international community to be united. And Barack, not Barack Obama, but Israeli Barack, is talking to in this article too. The Iranians are stalling for time as they move quickly to enrich the uranium. And that's my thought exactly ever since Obama's been in office. He's basically done nothing that basically gave them the time. Let's not forget they got a drone of ours too, don't they? In closing the article, remember it said, Panetta said repeatedly, the U.S. has developed options to thwart the program if the sanctions fail. Well, do we now? Remember, you gotta have some money to do some stuff. You can't shoot bombs and fly planes and drive boats and stuff without money. Since we don't have any, I guess we'll be asking China for permission to participate in this, but possibly we've got a little, maybe we got a little other financier, or we might have a little stashed back in the the large cookie jar. But I think we're going to see something here <clears throat> in the upcoming weeks. And it could be overt. It could be birds, airplanes, flying on a mission. Or it could be a uh, cyber. Again, you know, it's a quiet way to do things. It doesn't gain a lot of the super attention unless you do a, a really, 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 really big thing. And then you control some of the media so it either stays out 
or if it gets in, as little as possible is released. Or you could have a combination of both, cyber and actual hardware flying on a bombing run or something. But see, you gotta remember, whatever does happen, there's gonna be fallout. You know, how are the people in the neighboring Arab countries going to react to what Israel has done? And they probably would more than likely react, you know, towards them since we're on the other side of the world, even if we were the ones that did it. So, it seems to be a dang if I do, dang if I don't kind of thing. Israel is just going to get blamed no matter what, in my opinion. They could, they could uh, somehow pick themselves up and be on the other side of the world and we could end up performing a mission and then they could return to their spot on the map and then they would probably still be blamed somehow. But all the while, that your price is going to rise. Like I was saying, Middle East stuff, as you all know, causes things to go up. I think they said it was 422 in, in Chicago already. But we haven't hit the uh, holiday yet. Now I imagine it will creep up there before Friday. And after that, you know, it might have took, remember back in April they thought it would hit four bucks? Well, it's remained in the threes where I'm at. So, it might have just delayed in a little while. And their little NWO plans or whatever, they got their timetables. Excuse me. They get a little too far ahead, they slow down. They get behind, they speed up. But we have to really... I haven't heard of anything real damage-wise in California. You know, not big time damage or anything. And I, I haven't heard of anybody getting hurt yet or nothing out there. So we really kind of need to keep keep an awareness about uh, this activity in the El Salvador region in California and the Virgin Islands because it's you know it's three different little points along that line that's that's all doing it at the same time right now. While it didn't, like, as we turned our globe around, remember, it looked like you could just turn everything around, and then pretty, pretty much a lot of the back half of the world, if we are the front half, was uh, doing okay and pretty, pretty, fairly silent. And these people and in the storm. We're going to need our prayers, too. Because some of them, you know, you could not get hurt or something like that, and then you could just lose your property. You know, they might not have anything. Maybe it's just a trailer and a car. But it's it's theirs. It's what they have. So let's pray that there's not a lot of property damage loss. Uh, and that nobody else gets hurt. And nobody has to suffer. And this can just be a, a big giant rainstorm. Hopefully those winds will not get to a hundred or more. You know, they'll stay as low as they can. And hopefully this won't last long and they can get the crews back out there on them rigs and get to pumping that oil. See if we can't get this gas to come back down some. Remember? What was it? Uh, 
I might have the number a little bit off, but I think I'm pretty, pretty close to on. Remember when he laid his hand on that book and took that oath of office? I think it was like a dollar eighty-three. You know, and now it's, it's double. So I know you guys ain't ain't forgot it. We don't think about it every day. You know, maybe just every other day. But it sure would be nice to see a reduction in that price. <clears throat> and we got to uh, we've had some explosions here at some refineries too, which is before all this that kind of hurt our production. And then I uh, just was going to do a little more reading on that Venezuelan explosion. Remember a few days back they had an explosion down there? There were some people that got, a whole bunch of people got hurt, like 150 or something, like 41 people got killed. Well, I think they've had another tank exploded. And so I wanted to put this together and then go look about that. So. Uh, that would be Venezuela, that'd be like Chevron, I believe. That'd be Mr. Chavez, I believe. So that's putting a little, uh, a little less into the market also. I don't be, I'm not sure if we buy from them. He doesn't like to sell to us, so I wouldn't be surprised at the, at the moment if we don't buy from them anymore. Like we used to buy a little from them, but we don't have the greatest relationship with Mr. Hugo Chavez. We're heading into Tuesday now. We get some football this weekend. Take our mind off of everything for a couple of hours, or maybe you want to meditate, or read, or listen to some music, or do some gardening, or take a jog, or just sleep, or something but there's a few options to just kind of let it all go for a while it was really clear tonight you could see everything it just looked everything real calm no clouds today big bright moon nothing strange seemed to be happening up there tonight Well, I'll let you all go. We keep keep watching this California and Virgin Islands and the El Salvador thing. Hopefully, we won't pop a big one. I don't think we will, though. We'll just, especially the Virgin Islands and California, and Central the whole of Central America. And, you know, the whole line there. It's, it's not like the Indonesian area, but. It's what we got. So I guess you could say we could worry all the way up. But those are the active points now. So I'll stay on top of it. If it changes, I'll, I'll bring something back pretty quick. But right now it looks like it's staying stable, but just a whole lot of stable. You know, stable when you're just pumping threes and twos and Whatever triggered it off, let's hope it untriggers it. So God bless you all and keep you safe. If you got a problem, give him a call. Pray. He'll answer it, maybe not in your time, but he'll give you an answer in his time. That's a thing. See, a lot of people pray. Before I go, a lot of people pray, and it's on their own timeline. And so they think after it's been this amount of time or something, it looks like nothing's going to happen. So sometimes they forget about what they've already prayed for because it didn't happen when they hope it happens. But then maybe it happens later on down the line, and you just take it for granted, and you don't realize that it's been a prayer that got answered. That's just a thought. <laughs> I'm running away a little bit. So I'll let everybody go, and I'll talk to you soon. Good night, and God bless.